Hi, here we are again. Uh, I'm making these videos because a ne my nephew has ceramics in high school, and he was complaining that um, his high school teacher doesn't throw, doesn't know how to use the wheel, yet they have all these wheels. Um, so he's having a hard time getting instruction in high school, uh, which is a whole other issue. But I centered the clay already, so the next part I need to do is open. I'm going to open and spread the floor. So the clay centered, the top's flat. I use my thumb and I bend it, and these fingers are bent like this in the cloth position. And then I use my right hand to steady it. I'm going to push my whole, my both ha hands into the clay. And then I just have to gauge if I'm, I don't want to go down too far. A technique to use that most people don't even do is how do you know how far to go on the floor. So I'm take the pin tool, push it all the way down, take your index finger, slide it down, just mark where the top of the clay is or where it hits the, and that's how thick the bottom is. That's pretty good. That's about a, a little over a quarter of an inch. Then when I go underneath it with a wire, it's going to cut a little bit off, so be perfect. I'm not going to trim this cylinder. Um, Trimming is a little hard, time consuming in the beginning, so it's just best to try and get this done as soon as possible. So now that I've, I, I've made the well, what I need to do next is I need to spread the floor. So the same position with my hands. So if I bend all my fingers and it's level right here, I'm going to tip my whole hand to the side now and they're bent. Use this part of my index finger and I'm going to go along the bottom of the floor and widen it. And I'm going to go gradually to the outside till it's about the size. And, and where do I stop? So it's about the size of a, of a soup can. Okay. I'm going to kind of make some passes along the bottom like this. Now people always talk about compressing the floor and S cracks. Uh, I'm going to post these. And I mean, I've been doing clay for a long time. And... Um, most of the S cracks is when people, I think when people have all this water in there like that, that's when you, and they let it sit there, they throw the whole tunnel with all this water. That's when you get the S cracks because they're breaking down the fine particles in the clay. Um, I'll just do one little compression right about here and that's fine. Um, a lot of that when people have stuff cracking, it's because they're drying it too fast. Okay, so I spread the floor. Next move. As you can see how defined the wall is right here. Now the next move I'm going to do is I'm going to push from the outside against the clay and it's going to, my inside hand is going to oppose the clay being pushed. This hand, my inside hand, is going to try and maintain the shape of the interior of the cylinder. So when I push this clay is going to get skinnier and it's going to go up. So I'm just, this is just called thinning the walls. I'm not actually, I'm not making a pull yet. So see I pushed all that in, the clay got thinner, um, and it got taller. So it's a little thicker down here, so I'm going to push down here now. Just use my middle finger. Push down there, and I'm going to push right here where it's still a little thicker. And I'm going to use my middle finger as the focal point. And then I'm going to go up the side and push. Release, then push. So all I'm doing is I'm push, hold. Push, hold, push, hold. That's called thinning the wall. So it got thinner. Technically, I didn't make a pull. I think a lot of people um, that throw and they have stuff on the internet, it, they're like production potters and they don't even really realize what they're doing and they just do this shot in one motion. And, and, and I think when you are teaching people for the first time, people can't get that. I mean, I have a hard time just doing everything in one motion. So I think if things are more... Um, your steps are a little bit more calculated and methodical, um, then later you can, you can do things faster. So right here, I didn't even make a pull, but yet it's a lot taller. So we'll put a little bit of water. Now you notice I don't got a bunch of water flying all over the place because um, the tension in my hands and arms are really loose. So what I'm going to do is the same position. Make a C with my hand. My nails of my left hand are going to be on the bottom of the cylinder. My index finger right about here is going to be against the wall, like right around here. 
So I should be able to just let my hands sit there. Now here's the reason why when you don't lock your muscles and lock your arms. I have to have my arm out here. If I start doing everything in this close, I can only get about this high. You know, then I come with that T-Rex syndrome where I can't really make anything taller than six inches. So I think you're much more versatile if you can have your, be able to have your arm straight up like this. So now, to make the pull, I'm going to push out a little bit. See the bowls right there? So I just pushed out. There's where my hands were touching, right there. Now with this hand, I bend my fingers together, put that thumb right behind that first knuckle that I'm going to use right here. I'm going to get right underneath that. I'm going to push that in. See how it's going in? And then now I'm going to lift both hands at the same time. What's happening is the clay is being squished between my fingertips. When I get to the top right here, I'm going to hold it for a few seconds, just relax my hands, and take them away to the side. It's called raising the walls or making a pull. A little bit of water on there, just a little bit. And then if I have anything in the inside, I am always take that out. I could put that water back on here. Okay, it's fairly thin, so I'll make one more pull. So now the walls are thinner and taller, so it's going to behave differently. So I have to be sensitive to what's going on in my, between my fingers. So I'm going to get right underneath that, that bulge where my inside finger is. Get right underneath there. Now I'm going to make a pull. If I can go up at a steady, constant rate, then the clay has nowhere else to go but up, and it'll be an even cylinder. Relax.